Hello everyone, this is Jetio again, uh, here with another build video for you, showing you my current base. Um, just at the least to give you guys some ideas of uh, perhaps a couple ways of trying out some different builds. I incorporate almost all the tips that I have posted so far on Reddit into this current base that we have. Um, so let's go ahead and I'll give you a little bit of a tour, show you what we got going on. Um, as you might have noticed, I have a metal base inside of a wooden structure. Um, I'll show you once I get in there how that works. Um, all I've simply done to, uh, is uh, build a metal base and then I built a wooden gate structure around the perimeter. So it goes all the way around, so um, you do first have to get around the gate that surrounds the complex before you can get in. Now the obvious question you'd be asking couldn't you just build over the gate? No. Um, right now I'm incorporating the one of the tips that I posted that uh, prevents adjacent foundations using spike walls. Um, I'll show you once we get inside. Uh, right in here, this first is just the, the main entrance, the ramped entrance. Um, this is just an open side room if for whatever reason we decide to have a visitor and we want to trade we can do it outside the base here. But moving on to the main base, uh, we're now inside of the gate structure. Uh, this is closed off with barricades. We could tear them down, but I'll sh as I'll show you, um, the gate structure is uses the uh, double wall that I've shown before on in another build post. Um, as you can see, the wood goes all the way around. There's a layer of spikes, another wood wall, and another layer of spikes. Um, so it is a little bit of a pain to get through with C4. Um, the simplest route that I could think of someone could try to get around it is blow the wall, blow the spike wall, and then allow themselves to build up. However, because of the height of the gate wall, um, there would not be any way to get out because of the inside structure. And I'll show you that in just a moment as we get up here. Um, so I'm going to show you here real quick. This is just a door comes out to this little entrance so that way we can come out and see who's out here. If anyone comes up, well, we're pretty remote as it is. Um, this is the third floor of the uh, gate. It just goes all the way around for windows, so that way if we want to be inside the gate and do some defense, we can do that. Um, I'm going up to the top floor, you can actually see the courtyard. Um, so what I've done, it took a little bit of lining up the foundations right, um, but once I did, I was able to just build all the way around in the closest proximity. So neither metal foundations or wood foundations can be placed inside this courtyard area. So that's what I meant when I said you cannot um, once you, if you break the wall, go build up and then jump over, it's not going to kill you. I mean, I'll even jump down and show you. I'm sure, I'll break my legs, get inside. So I'm inside now, but um, I can't build foundations to get up and back out. So either way, I still have to blow through the walls to get through the gate. Uh, or the doors. So it's 2C4 either way with the doors or the walls. Um, you can place ramps uh, in this close proximity but not foundations. So that's how the, the ramps are still here. So you wouldn't be able to break this ramp and then build a foundation in place of this ramp in order to get around it. Um, when the ramps can be placed here. So, so the gate's just pretty simple. It auto date updates all of the barricades and the spike inside of the structure uh, so I don't have to repair any of them and um, as you saw in that second level door there I can easily tear down these barricades if there was a break in it would be super easy to repair I would just break down this barricade and I can walk around on top of the wall on the entire perimeter find the break in point make repairs and we're good to go so should these doors come out now we'll go on to the main base uh, the main base is a um, incorporates parts of the three by one into its structure. Um, I have this is a uh, 
compromised version here. You'll see the main. Here's the main pillar room. Uh, this is two three by ones crossed over on each other. Um, in the first level, it's just simply a an easy walk around area. Um, you know, when we come in, grab resources, just organizing stuff. We've got all these boxes we can throw it in, organize it, whatever. Same on this side. We do our furnace stuff. Um, organize everything, get everything in order. So there's just two, um, two, two by one rooms branching off the central pillar area here. And then um, going up the stairs here, you know, we got boxes everywhere. Um, we now have the two by one, or the, excuse me, the three by one. So if I want to gain access to the upper levels here, um, to specifically get a laser point here, to this door, or to this door, I would have to do the three by one trick. And um, to add one further layer of annoyance, um, I would have to come up to this side, open, in order to get to this door, as I'll show you, I have to come up this side, open this door. Then I come back down to the other side, to the other stairs, and now I can access the other side. And now I have the uh, the three by one setup here. So uh, it's slightly more annoying than the uh, three by one, um, but as you can see, I keep some basic stuff on the lower levels, so that way, you know, we don't have to be using the three by one every single time we want to access a couple piles of wood or something. Um, so there's three by one on this side. We got some more boxes in here. Um, so I can try to get in on this other side here. This is a staircase. I'm not sure if we can make it over to that other one, but actually I should be able to. Um, one side is a staircase that goes up to our top defense level. Actually, I should be able to jump over. Right here. Yeah. Um, nothing in here at the moment, but this can be another storage room, like an armory, if we wish it to be. Um, on the other side here is a stairway going up to our top level for defense. And this uses the ramp trick that I had shown before to make this nice walk around area. Uh, we got this box up here, we got a bunch of you know, Kevlar sleeping bags, so if we had to defend the space, um, we'd just jump up to this top level, and uh, we can easily see all the mountains around us. We can walk back down. Um, be we uh, have actually done a couple runs on this space, taking turns within our team, assaulting the base and defending it, finding out uh, the different high ground areas around our base and testing it out. Um, and we found that it's really difficult to see where they pop up until the last moment because of this ramp. I can just run down, run up to another side, and they don't see us coming in one of the windows. So it's pretty nice. Um, and then these doors here, these open up for viewing down in the courtyard. So if someone if someone's breaking in, uh, we don't have to go open up the bottom doors, we just come up to the top level, open up the door, come up in here, you know, we can shoot down for base defense from this top floor, because that courtyard's all open, uh, they could throw down some barricades, but, you know, if they're over in that spot over there, with barricade and I get, can't get to them, I just come over this side, so, um, it's pretty nice and I can still see down in the central column so if they do get all the way into the metal base um, I can still defend my base from up here as well as I show them in the uh, 3 by one So uh, I hope at the least that just gives you guys some ideas of uh, some different ways to use some of the designs and tips that I've been posting. Um, you know, if you have any other ideas or suggestions or comments 
uh, feel free to shoot me a message or leave a comment on either my YouTube videos for those who subscribe to me or um, on any of the Reddit posts on uh, the subreddit. Uh, thanks for watching.